All right, welcome back. We have a lot more, uh, yes, events to play. Now, uh, today I planned to go and do one of the challenge stages. I think it's at Wings of Dawn. And we have a new coating, uh, this one, that is kind of obtainable for free. Uh, although it's also paid at the same time. Now, this is the challenge, the character challenge. And now I already have my character on the double S rank or double S class. Now, the first part is not that, not that difficult. And I would say the second part is not that difficult as well. However, I don't have a lot of combat power. Uh, basically 6.4 thousand. It's not bad, but for the second part you have... You kind of need over 7,000, the game does recommend you to use 7,000, but I will still roll with the current characters and with the current setup. So, uh, all of the three enemies here have about 30 health bars, which is okay, acceptable. Now, I really did have to get this character on the double S class or double S rank. Mostly because back when I played, back when I got the character on the Chinese version a year ago, I got her immediately on the double S rank or double S class, and she just did not feel the same. So in order to replicate the feeling, I basically went and made her the double S class rank, and well, now she is dominating. Still has some amazing DPS output, which is interesting because this character is a support that can also be a DPS. Now, unfortunately, uh, she will be my uh, DPS because I don't really have other fire elemental DPS characters. So, so, so for now, she will have to. Uh, be the DPS, and I honestly don't really mind that. I really enjoy playing the character. The flashbang is pretty strong, uh, and overall, she can carry the fire team on her own, I believe. At least that's what I used to do back uh, on the Chinese version of the game. When I, when I got the character, I was basically dominating the fire map the fire zone for a while. Now one thing that's kind of interesting, uh, we didn't have the fire zone for some time now, which makes me a little bit uh, curious to know when it will be out so I can dominate the fire map. Okay, all the jokes aside, the, the first part of the challenge was quite easy, now the real challenge begins. The Nightmare Ball. Now this boss, like I mentioned a couple thousand times before, is one of my favorites for several reasons. It's unpredictable, uh, it has really uh, quick attacks that uh, do not forgive mistakes. If you miss the evasion by one millisecond, you will get hit. And even after playing three years, of course, uh, I did have some breaks here and there, but even after few years, this boss still uh, feels as as nasty as always. So, so it's always going to be uh, quite a challenge to fight this thing, especially now when it has like 100 health bars. Now, in order to get all the stars and all the rewards, you basically have to uh, defeat the boss within a three-minute time barrier. Now, I was never really a fan of having anything time limited. Basically, uh, for 100% skill, you should just leave the timer to be indefinite, and that way you will have players uh, who are quite skilled complete the challenge, no matter what characters they use, no matter their combat power, and all that uh, is, you know. I would say a more accurate representation of uh, of skill, but unfortunately, or actually, my my apologies for a second, I almost made a mistake. The 
the whole map here is not really timed. You have unlimited time, but you have to complete the boss within three minutes if you want to get all the all the rewards. And I don't really like that, but at the same time, I don't really mind it because. The, I think the reward is like a medal or something, which requires you to have very good, uh, a very good team. In my case, I have good characters, but uh, all of them kind of need supports, and I currently don't really have a lot of support. So uh, I basically combine uh, the characters to, you know, kind of work with each other. So far, that doesn't seem to be a big problem. I mostly rely on. Uh, my experience with the game in the last like four or five years now. However, I have to say I'm quite satisfied uh, with my own performance here. Of course, I could have played better, but it's okay. It does it does work in the end? And, well, uh, in a couple of seconds, I will be passing the three minute limit that I have for all of the rewards. And unfortunately, I uh, am still 24 health bars into the boss battle. There is still 24 health bars to remove from the boss. If I had the other fire elemental characters, I'm pretty sure I, I would be able to do this much better. But, you know. It's, it's fine, uh, in the end, if I can give a very good battle and a very good fight, that's, that's more than enough for me. Now, I have to say, this map has one, uh, one flaw. Sometimes the aim uh, will get stuck at the center of the map, basically where the sentry guns spawn. Now, I don't think that it's a big issue, however, uh, the lock-on, basically the manual lock does not work when uh, when they spawn, so you might kind of uh, lose orientation of the character if the screen starts spinning and things like that, so uh, that's something to keep in mind. I'm fairly sure it will be fixed in a small patch coming up in a couple days, but it's one of the things that are currently kind of, I guess, kind of preventing me from from having a better time because in some cases I get basically stuck and when I say I get stuck I basically don't see what's happening because of camera angles and uh, that's, uh, that's basically what you will perhaps notice from time to time to occur unless I did cut those fights out but I'm pretty sure I did leave one or two
my apologies for the weird silence. I had something to to do in the background. The boss at 48 health bars, slowly going down. Two minutes and six seconds into the fight, which is you know not bad. Now this is the part where the I guess the terapods spawn, but I like to call them sentry guns because. If they start hitting you, you are in some big trouble. So don't get hit by terapods. And they can be sometimes very nasty uh, in some other, I guess, in some other challenges they basically kill you in one or two hits. And I also forgot to mention that I will uh, keep the temperature monitor up. Because back when this character was originally released, uh, she used to warm up my device quite a bit. And at times it was quite a noticeable uh, heat difference. Now, nowadays, since I uh, basically use different options, and I purposely push my, my hardware to work harder than usual, just to eliminate any lag, and to ensure the smoothest performance, it does heat up quite often, so the heat here that you're currently seeing there is basically quite normal nowadays. Especially at summer, although currently it's winter over here, so uh, the temperature will be a little bit lower than usual, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, this was a almost a four minute fight, but eventually I did defeat the boss. Wasn't that uh, big of a problem, unfortunately. I'm always like one minute too, too late. Uh, basically, if I would complete the boss battle one minute earlier, I would basically uh, get all the rewards, but it's fine. So I have changed my team once more. I was basically curious to see uh, what type of score I can get with this team. Perhaps there's a chance that this team might work a little bit better, I don't know. We'll definitely have no... Uh, won't know until I try, so we will see what I'll get with this team. I'm also working on getting the characters all nice and geared out. I have been, I completed basically the, the border control challenge stages, all of them. And that's also currently in the works to be uploaded. Basically, I'm recording this late at night. And let me tell you, I have a lot of videos to make tonight. So, who knows when I will go to bed. Probably very, very early. Or perhaps I will witness the sun go up. Like in the good old days. I remember a long time ago, back when I was in high school, I would basically play some games the whole night. I would start at 8 pm and I would play all, all the way until like 9 am, 10 am. Those were some very, very good times. It was so much different back then. Games were also a lot different. I would, I would say the games were back then. They do feel kind of a bit better, but we still have some pretty good games nowadays as well. Oh, 
で燃やし尽くされます希望が肝心から生まれ変わります耐えてます純粋了解Well done. That was a very nice, uh, a very nice run, honestly. However, still not enough in order to get that under three minutes clear time. But honestly, I don't mind. Again, the most important aspect of a game is to have fun, and. I really do enjoy fighting with this boss. I will probably do one more run and then I will go and do the the stage where I can show you the the new coating for the character. It's a pretty good coating. Now I don't have all the coatings. I have most of the free ones. I know I spent a lot of time grinding the Selena coating that we got in the previous update. That one was, let me tell you, the grind for that one was real. But I got lucky and basically upon unlocking the fourth map, I immediately got what I was looking for and basically once I got the coating I stopped at... I basically stopped grinding at that, uh, that stage. But man, that was... I mean, that was some pretty good grinding, honestly. Um, for a moment I actually thought that I might be late, because I started a couple days... I actually started a couple days uh, late, because I kind of totally forgot that we had uh, something like that up and running in the game, so... I was late, but still in the end I did finish. Uh, and I got the coating that I still use on on my character. And here my aim got stuck at the center, however, uh, it did go back to stick on the Nightmare Ball. It happens from time to time, I don't really know why, but it's a little bug that might affect the clear time in the end. So, like I mentioned before, keep that in mind. I know I had to like retry a couple times just because uh, that bug kept popping up at some critical moments and basically uh, I had to go and and retry because it ruined the run and I had to uh, do it all over again which wasn't a big problem but still can be annoying And well, I have finished this, this map as well. Okay, well, uh, 
will be time to take a look at the new coating here and well uh, overall i have to say this coating does look very nice now i've heard that in the future we will uh, get even more coatings for this character so there is a chance that i will get the future ones i haven't seen them but i've heard that they're like in general looking a bit better than this one but again that is kind of I guess depends from uh, different tastes. I like this current coating, but I'm currently trying to save all the black cards that I can for the for the future stuff, for the future characters and things like that. But overall, this is a very very good looking character. They did knock it out of the park, and I kind of find it interesting. Uh, how the I mean the, the developers know what they're doing I'll, I'll just leave it at that they know what they are doing and players do like it so there is no complaint on that so that was the challenge stage for the new character this was the new coating for the new character again one very fun to play character with a very good story and overall uh, if you are thinking to get the character I would say go and get the character after all it's a new class can be a DPS can be a support so there is basically uh, all that included so with that being said stay safe and as always I'll see you next time